Hey everybody, this is Roger and we're here to give you a tiny tutorial of at-home maintenance for yourself or others using the root rubbing technique that I have a video of and the pointy latch hook tool to pull in loose hairs. Let me know if you have any questions, thanks. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is identify which hairs belong in that dread and which ones belong somewhere else. The way you can do that is follow the grid first of all and with smooth hair dreadlocks, the grid is going to be more of a natural line than straight bricklay line. You're going to be able to tell if a hair leans toward a dread or if it leans toward another because we all have a natural wave pattern. If it looks like it doesn't belong, don't force it. Put it where it belongs. You can see which hairs are loose and straight and we're going to pinch just beyond that point when it starts to lock up, press towards the scalp, hold all of the other hairs that don't belong in that dreadlock away from it, and start rubbing. As I've said before, you're going to rub pretty vigorously here. It actually feels really good, most people say. So just go back and forth and keep checking it until it feels like there's a nice transition between what is already locked up and what is new growth. Basically, you're trying to mimic what happens naturally and just get it to happen a little faster. And the purpose of this is gives your hair volume, but also when we're doing maintenance, it gives it something to anchor the hair into when we pull it in. It's better than just pulling it into smooth hair. It'll last longer. So put your pointy tool in and try to stay in the core of the dread as you move up toward the hair that you're going to pull in. Try to get as close to the root of that hair as possible. You don't want the hair to have to travel over the dreadlock and then into a new hole because that'll create a loop and that just um, is a situation that makes it slide out easier. So go in through the dread to the base and pull it in. When you come out of the dreadlock with this tool, you're gonna to wanna to clear all of the nest of hair, otherwise you're gonna pull back and it's just gonna hurt. So you're gonna come out and you're gonna make sure there's no hair attaching itself. Come all the way out, put it in, close it and pull it back in. I do not use what is called the root wrapping or root tying method, which is where they take the loose hairs, wrap it around the root, and then pull it in. I personally think that that can sometimes, if done improperly, be just as dangerous as interlocking, and it'll create a tight spot that you may have a problem with later. I really don't like to force dreadlocks. My method is simply to encourage what happens naturally. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.